going on everybody dj goham here welcome back to the channel this bomb's an old man today we've got 81 mods in testing for fs22 we got zero mods in testing for fs19 with all those 23 different mods were released today and we've got 11 modders to talk about so Let's jump right in. In testing for FS22 on PC, we have Adapter, Additional Game Settings, Aperion 2101, Auto Load Stock Trailer Pack, Viable Bells, Plus Tractors Pack, Plus Vario, Concrete Block 4M01, Crop Growth Stage Info, CSN Implements Pack and Additional Features, Direct Cell Price Increaser, Disabled Turn Off Motor, Drying from Enter, PDF Post Prefab, Enhanced Fill Type Categories, Legal Long Neck Combi Plus, Forge Storage, Free Fences and Bushes, Free Range Husbandry, Corn Granoter 280, Guidance Steering, Chrome Big Axe Siri, Japan TZ400, Disco Lander XM52, Limkit Vario Opal 8, Lizard Fork, Lumberjack, Members of PN20, FS9509, Parking Spaces, Potato Palette, Raisins and Grape Palettes, Risu Forest, Rusty Looking Multifruit Silos, Rusty Shed, Seed Hawk Pack, oh yeah, let's go, Siri Single Offset Disc, SIP Silver Cut, Slurry Yard, The Old Stream Farm, UK Big Bag Pack, Personal New Holland 4 Wheel Drive Tractors, Wars Z bell tools, weight, wheel loader weight, wheel loader shovel, and Yara storage tanks. In testing for consoles in FS22, we have the Amazon ED300, Case IH Traction King Series, Case IH Vestrum Series, Case Optum CVX, Chocolate Muselli, Classic Two Row Planter, Noise Far Series 9, Noise Far Starliner 4045H Pack, John Deere's 2730 Plow, not a 2730, Ooh. John Deere 6 Elm, Lizard Manure Tank, Lizard MK Silo, Lizard MKV Universal Tank Trailer Pack, Lizard R. R300, R400, Lizard Self-Made Trailer, Meridian Storage Yard, Modern Shed, New Holland 9682 US, New Holland L95 Fiat Agri, Old Cow Shed, Phoenix IT Runner Edition, not the TLX Phoenix, Placeable Log Bridge, Ponger HIT 47N, HIT 690N, Nova Disc Pack, Schluter 2500 VL, Self-Made Weight, Small Shed, Small Square Liquid Manure Tank, <laughs> that's a round one, isn't it? My bad. Star Ninja Pack, The Well, Water Tap, and Wilson Pace Setter Pack. All that being said, we still have 1,090 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is 13 work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 21 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up for FS22, and two of them for FS19. I've already made a video showing all of those off, and you can find that video linked to the first pinned comment and description below. Starting off today's top stories with some bad news for about 70% of this channel, as the TLX 2020 was removed from the mod hub very shortly after its release today due to issues with the game crashing on consoles. This is not actually a bug with the mod. The 2020 is actually totally fine. The issue is based around a bug in the game that is causing random crashes in the store for players on Xbox and PlayStation. PC players get the bug too. However, it's not causing the game to crash for whatever reason. The 2020 has kind of brought the bug to life in a way, and it's going to be part of the fixes that are gonna be coming with the next game patch version 1.3. That update should be coming sometime in the next few weeks as Giants are working on it right now, but we don't know exactly when and I don't think they do either. Once it is out, however, the TLX 2020 will be relaunching for console players and I'm still planning to release my TLX 2020 video, but I think I may hold off a few days until it's released or maybe uh, wait until the weekend or something like that, unless you guys want me to go ahead and do it now, in which case I'm totally fine with it. In the meantime, please be careful with any mod that you're using on consoles, save the game as often as you can, and the problem could happen again with any mod. 2020 just happened to really bring it to life. It's just a game crash from what I've been told, so it's nothing crazy. Um, but it's never fun no matter what when you're playing and your game crashes. Let's take a look at a few John Deere tractors, beginning with JA Modding and their John Deere 5075E, which they say is coming back for Farming Simulator 19, but in a little bit of a different way than others are doing. Similar to the way 82 Studio has done it, he's going to be remodeling completely. So even though maybe the same mod, it's going to be completely different, if that makes any sense. And while he's at it, the John Deere 466 Baylor is also going to be getting the same treatment. They're just getting started with these and have asked that if anyone has either one of these, whether you have the John Deere 5075E tractor or the 466 Baylor, to send over some pictures so they can get a closer look at these and make them as real life as possible. Leave their contact below. Solutions Modding is also bringing back a popular John Deere mod, their 110 4x4, which was actually released on Monda for FS19 after Farms of 22 dropped. 
at the end of November. This tractor's already been submitted in its entirety for FS22 testing for all platforms. It's going to feature one tractor, round fender 4x4. It's also going to have a utility trailer, a plow, a mower, a rake, which I think is going to work some kind of like a windrow, something like that, and also come with a roller as well. Even with the testing list the way it is, this is still going to be at least three weeks before we see it. So keep an eye out for it around like the 18th or the 21st of this month. If you'd like to use it now, though, you can check it out on Farming Simulator 19, available right now for all platforms. The ARM team are bringing over a very popular Baylor mod for Farm Sim 19, which actually had a version of Farm Sim 17 as well as a crone, the John Deere 100 Square Baylor. It's getting an update from the previous version, though, with new wheels, lights, a new fully animated shoot on the back, new colors for the body in the PTO, and rear triangle, of course. This is just the first look, but it's great to see it coming back since I know so many people used it back in 19. They have not talked about their Krona version yet, but I do hope we see it as well. As for their Bobcat Skid Steer and the Merlot Telehandler, I haven't heard anything about them since in November of 2021, so a couple months ago, but I do check the page daily, so hopefully we get some more information soon. EY Modding has started on another mod, the Ant Eater. I don't really know a lot about this one in real life, though. It does look to be an international harvester or something like that. The grill on the two is identical, so I would assume that that's what they're working on, but no other information was announced, and I will keep updated as it moves forward. Additionally, we're still waiting to hear back about their Massey 4000 series. It's only been with Giants for three days, so it's probably going to be another two weeks or so before we get to see it on the testing list. But let you guys know when we know more about it. As for their Massey 168, the update to that was released today on Mod Hub for Farm Sim 19 players, and he says that the mod is still waiting to be tested for Farming Simulator 22. Another mod that's actually in testing right now is Whiskey Sierra Monics New Holland 9682. You probably heard me butcher the name earlier. This tractor features singles, duels, and triple wheel options, as well as a remodeled dashboard display, UDIM cabin glass, three point or drawbar options, and engine tuning options. The mod should be released soon for console players and PC players alike on the mod up, could even be as early as tomorrow. However, if you're on PC and you'd like to download this right now, your own PC, like I said, check the link in the description as Whiskey Sierra Modding has actually already uploaded the mod today for PC players on their website. That's pretty cool. Another mod that's been released for PC players, but not because they wanted to, I don't think, is the SMI Modding Inner Green Pack for FS22 players via their website. This is one of the many mods that have been converted and posted up on third-party websites without the modder's permission. So, the SMI modding team decided to take matters into their own hands and made the conversion for themselves so that players have something official to use that probably actually works, unlike whatever was released before. There is one caveat though, this mod will not, I repeat, will not be getting any subsequent updates down the road, so if there's a problem, there will always be a problem, and it's not coming to Mod Hub. My guess is that this is something that they were not planning to bring over in the first place, but since the illegal conversion was published, well, they dropped it so at least people would have the real thing to use. So, no updates and no Mod Hub release. If you're on PC and you'd still like to download it, you can get it on the SMA website, which I will leave link below. Weasel Mod and creator of the Power Tools mod, also known as the F12 mod for PC players, has a question for you guys. He's got a new version of the mod ready to go, which fixes some bugs and added some new features to spawn logs. That's kind of cool. It would help with testing, that's for sure. The problem is that if he pulls the current versions on the Mod Hub right now and places it with this, there's always a problem that the mod could fail. And of course, it's going to have to update the mod anyway after the next game patch releases, which is probably going to be here before this mod would even make it into testing. So, what do you want him to do? <laughs> he says, do you want to wait and have the possibility that he's going to have to put out another one? It'd be another you know month or two before we can see this or longer. Personally, I'm fine with not being able to spawn logs right now, but if your gameplay is different, then hey, let him know at the uh, link down below beside WZL. Edo Mod has announced that thanks to the newly added Border Separator on Map Italia Emilia extension, you're not only going to be able to produce liquid digestion, aka digestate, but also solid digestion, which I guess is going to be separated into liquid and solid digestate in the game. Also, it feels super uncomfortable saying those words out loud to a bunch of people, but you get it. Uh, you're also going to be able to produce electricity and gas from the digester, so get hyped. New features confirmed for Map Italia. White Bull Mining shows off another screenshot from their first map for Farming Simulator 22, and a map that's actually been around for a couple games now, the Hills of Slovenia. They say that it's almost finished. But that's about it. No other information, no feature sets, no uh, nothing. Just short, sweet, to the point. Almost finished. So, I guess, get hype. Let's go. And lastly today, let's go because Bullet Bill is 
back with his first map on a current Farming Simulator title since Lone Oak released in Farming Simulator 17. This map has no title yet. It's going to be his first map for FS22 since, and I don't think he ever did one for 19. Now think about it. Since a few things on the map are done, he wanted to share progress so far. That way you get an idea of what to expect once it's fully completed. So far, all the models on the map are made by himself. However, this is only a small portion of the ones that he's actually going to be building and nowhere near the total amount that he's got planned for this map. He's also got custom foliage textures, ground textures, tree textures, and is using an updated seasonal shader, which he worked on with Oxygen David and Ian to stop the oversaturation of the trees during the seasons. Obviously, the map is in its early stages, very early stages, but it's great to see BB back in the action only current game. It's really good to have you back, Bill. And it's great to have you guys back to the Civil War segue to the outro. It knows where it is. Check that out. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. I did, but I did like one finger here. That doesn't make any sense. That's three.